Hello students, today we will learn uh, basics of LaTeX. So the first step is to install LaTeX. For that we need to, uh, for that we need to install LaTeX. Okay, and according to your system requirement, you will install MIGTEC. Okay, and it will look like this. This is the writer, and you will get all the, the entire package installed on your computer. Then, uh, when edit, you will download according to your system requirement in edit package okay and then you will install it and then you will restart your computer okay and when edit looks like this it is basically a writer okay now what are we going to do we will uh, make a new document okay from scratch so that you understand latex so open a blank document okay and then another blank document okay this is the main file and this one we will learn how to make a lib tech file okay so uh, the next step is to go for basic latex package right so i just uh, found this basic writing sample very easy so you can also find it on Google. It's written here. Okay. So writing a simple latex document was quite helpful. So all I did was just like I uh, copied it. So let us copy it. Okay. And I want to check whether it is working or not. So I will save it. I will save it in documents and a new folder. So this is the first uh, document that we have made. Now I want to run it. So how am I going to run it? I want to click on L, okay? And I will see whether I get any errors and any warnings or any bad boxes. So let us just click on L, okay? It tells me that I have not saved this figure, my figure in the document, in that folder, okay? where I sa saved my document. Whenever you face any error, please read this box very carefully, okay, with patience, and first figure out what is the error, and then debug it, and then please close this uh, box by clicking on this cross, okay? Now I'm going to check, here you can see, Here you can see include graphics. Currently, we haven't learned how to add the uh, image. Usually, whenever we add the image, we put that image in the same folder. And currently, I have not added it because at the moment, I just want to learn the basics, right? So uh, I have put a percent sign. Percent means that now this um, uh, this command, uh, Latex will not execute this command, right? So now let me click on this L again. And you can see I've got one warning. Now I've got zero warning, zero error, zero bad boxes. So now the document, I'm expecting that the document will look better. So to read the document, this is how I have now uh, got the latex done, but now I want to convert it to PDF. So latex to PDF converter, click on it. Now this color is red. So now my PDF document is ready. I will open it. And I can see that now the document is ready. Now, there are several things which are missing in this document. The first thing is that the bibliography. I want to add the bibliography, the uh, references, okay? And the benefit of LaTeX as compared to Word, 
is that we can add bibliography very easily. Okay, and how? Let us do it uh, together. I have another blank document. Okay, first I want to save it in the same folder where I'm saving my main text file. Okay, so I'm going to uh, go to the learn text and I will save it to Bib Tech and give it any name Bib One. Okay, I have now saved it as Bib One. Okay, now I have, uh, uh, I want to see uh, how to add a reference, right? So, what am I going to do now? I will uh, open browser, I will write Google Scholar, right? I will click on Google Scholar and let's say my field is uh, optimization. So I will write optimization. Okay, you can see we've got all the references available here. And if I want to uh, find a, a particular article, I will write just the title of that article here and I will get that article here uh, with all its details at Google Scholar. So now the next step is click on this, then click on BibTech, then copy and paste. Okay, now please, uh, when you want to add another reference, go to the next line, do not disturb these curly brackets. Okay, add the rate book, curly bracket start, curly bracket end. So Google Scholar has done this job for you. You'll not need to type it, okay? Now click on save, copy button, right? Next, I will add another reference so that we learn how to add more than one reference. So let me just take, a, take this reference and I will take it to my bib tab, right? Now I have two references, Bard and this author, right? 2004, 2006. Now, how am I going to take these to my main text file? There are two steps. First one is to inform this document that I'm going to connect this document with this document, right? And the second step is to call the references in the main document. Okay, so let me show you Now we need two important commands in this main document, right? These are before the end document command. Remember, before the end document command, I will write bibliography, curly brackets, and I will write bib1. What is bib1? This is the name of the bibliography file, okay? Next, I will write the bibliography style. This is abbreviate nat. Now, to understand this command, the bibliography, I need to add a header as well, okay? In the beginning, before the start of this document. Okay, so I'm going to use a package which is called natbib. Okay, and this is the bibliography style. I will mention it before the document as well. So these two commands I will add in the beginning before the begin document. Okay, before the begin document, use package natbib and before the command end document, I will add bibliography. Bib one means my file name. If I, if, if for example, your surname is something, you can use that surname dot bib and you will save it in the folder and then you will call it. Okay, now my two uh, bibliographies are ready here in bib one dot bib file. Where is this file? This file is saved in the mm, folder. Let me show you. You can see here 
this is my file dip tag database file and this is my document file one dot text okay these two files i want to connect with each other every time i call a reference in file one it will it will call it using dip one file all right got it so now i am going to go to my file one text now a header and footer are ready but how to call it if I want to add one of the references here, I will put this sign backslash site. And can you see here, both references are available. So this is the advantage of Vinadit, right? That is why I suggest my students to start with Vinadit, okay? And then we can use any other online software, but not now. This At the trivial stage, please learn using make tech win edit right so now you can uh, select the relevant reference for example i wanted to add here the 2004 reference i will click on it double click on it it will show me do you want this one i will say yes so i will go for insert very nice right so now i want to see this reference in my pdf document remember to close this pdf document that you have produced earlier now click on latex I can see the warning here, three warnings, oh my God. So let me just go and click on this B. B stands for how to run the BIP file. Okay, next again, click on L. Again, warning gone, right? I am very hopeful that my file one is now connected with the BIP one. Let us see. So PDF Latex. Now click on this thread and I want to go to the conclusion section because I edit the reference here. So can you see, because I was using abbreviate next, so it is using the surname of the first author, ital means the remaining authors and the square brackets stands for the year of publication 2004. Good, great. So we have learned how to add the reference using latex. Now, the next job is to add more than two references. Okay, I will put the curly bracket here. I will add the second reference, insert, and put the comma here. Read this step very carefully with pauses when you are using YouTube. Okay, now cross the PDF. Now click on L. Ah. I can see two warnings. So I will call again the bib tag twice. Zero warning, great. So now I will click on latex to PDF. I will go for PDF. Now I can see both references appearing here. Okay, now let me use P here and see what will happen. Can you see the brackets here? Site P means it will uh, put the brackets outside the citation. Okay, so today we have learned how to add the bibliography to my main document. Okay, please do inform me after watching the video that uh, you managed to get your uh, document working. All right, so thank you so much for watching.